Welcome back to the channel. I have very exciting news to share with you. There are many people who are going to get advantage. Yes, it's true. A major bill has been approved that directly impacts Social Security, leading to increased benefit checks for millions of Americans. This is exciting news for beneficiaries, and in this video, I'm breaking it all down for you. What this bill is, how it affects Social Security, and what it means moving forward. I know many of you have been asking about this in the comments, wondering, is this real? What's happening? How does it affect me? Well, stick around, because I'll walk you through the details step by step, clarify who benefits from this, and explain what's next as it moves to the Senate. Plus, I'll share my thoughts on why this is such a big deal for Social Security reform. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video so you never miss out on our latest videos. We put in a lot of time, energy, and effort in putting the information together so you can make informed decisions. Your support means the world to us, so please motivate us by clicking like and subscribe. Now, what is the Social Security Fairness Act? Let's start with the basics. This new piece of legislation is called the Social Security Fairness Act. It's designed to eliminate two key provisions that have reduced Social Security benefits for millions of Americans, specifically those who worked in public service. Here's a quick overview of those provisions. The Windfall Elimination Provision, also known as WEP. This provision affects individuals who receive both a Social Security benefit and a government pension. For example, if you worked as a teacher, police officer, or other public servant, your Social Security benefit has likely been reduced significantly, if not eliminated altogether, because of WEP. The Fairness Act removes this penalty entirely, meaning beneficiaries impacted by WEP will see their Social Security checks increase. The Government Pension Offset, also known as GPO. This provision reduces spousal or survivor benefits for individuals whose spouse worked in public service and received a government pension. In most cases, it cuts spousal benefits by two-thirds, leaving many families with much less than they expected. By eliminating the GPO, this bill restores full spousal and survivor benefits to those affected. Now, these changes don't apply to every Social Security recipient. According to the legislation, 2.8 million beneficiaries will see an increase in their checks. While that's a smaller percentage of the total recipients, it's a meaningful change for those impacted. Now, let me share the numbers, a bipartisan win. What's really exciting about this bill is the level of bipartisan support it received. In the House of Representatives, it passed with 327 votes in favor and only 76 opposed. That's a huge margin, showing that lawmakers on both sides agree this is a necessary reform. Think about it. When was the last time we saw Congress pass a dedicated piece of legislation targeting Social Security, let alone one that increases benefit checks? It's been years. For many, this bill represents hope that Social Security reform is back on the table. Now, the bill heads to the Senate. Here's where it gets interesting. The Senate has its own Social Security proposals, including the Social Security Expansion Act championed by Bernie Sanders and others. That act includes a $200 monthly increase for beneficiaries. Could elements of that act be added to this bill? It's possible, and that's why this moment is so important. Okay, then, what happens next? Let's talk about what happens from here. The bill now moves to the Senate. If the Senate approves it without amendments, it will go straight to the President for signing into law. However, if the Senate makes changes, like adding provisions from the Social Security Expansion Act, it will need to go back to the House for another vote. This back and forth process is common, but it does add some risk. Changes might delay the bill's progress, or lawmakers could disagree on the final version. But it also creates an opportunity for positive amendments, such as broader benefit increases or additional reforms. The fact that Social Security is even being discussed at this level is a big deal. Lawmakers have put this issue back in the spotlight, and it gives us momentum. Even if this bill doesn't impact everyone directly, it's a step toward larger reforms. Why this matters? Let's think about it. Now, why is this bill so important? Beyond the immediate benefits for 2.8 million people, 
it signals a shift in how lawmakers are approaching social security. 2.8 million people are relatively a decent number. For years, we've been calling for changes, eliminating outdated provisions, increasing benefits, and ensuring the program stays strong for future generations. This bill addresses two major inequities in the system, and it's a sign that Congress is willing to take action. Imagine if this momentum continues. We could see reforms that help even more people, like eliminating the marriage penalty for SSI or introducing broader benefit increases. The Social Security Fairness Act might just be the beginning of something bigger. Here are my closing thoughts and call to action. So, what do you think about the Social Security Fairness Act? Do you think it'll pass the Senate? Will it lead to even bigger reforms? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this information. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from this information. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on social security, benefits, and everything you need to know to stay informed. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.